One thing that's good about sitting paper one is you can narrow down what is going to be on paper two by the topics they didn't ask in the first paper. So obviously you still need to revise everything, but a couple of topics that didn't come up in the first paper, binomial expansion didn't come up, so they will definitely ask a question about that in paper two. Parametrics didn't come up at all, so they will definitely ask at least one question on that. Differential equations didn't come up either. They have asked a question on differential equations every single year from 2018 to 2024 so I'm almost certain they're going to ask a question about it on the second paper there was um, a good post that was put on reddit by someone called BF maths and he kind of made a spreadsheet of what they're most likely to ask in paper two by what they didn't ask in paper one I'll uh, leave a link to that in the description I found it quite useful another thing that they didn't ask in paper one was partial fractions and the most likely format that this question will come up is is in combination with integration so here's a question on this so pause the video if you want to have a go at it and I'll go for the answer now okay so for this question we're told f of x is equal to 3k x minus 18 over x plus 4 x minus 2 where k is a positive constant and for part a for three marks we need to express f of x in partial fractions in terms of k okay so this is a partial fractions question so we need to split this up into partial fractions here and we're going to split this up into two partial fractions because we have two brackets in the denominator so we're going to split this up into two partial fractions one of them is going to have the denominator of the x plus 4 and this is going to have the numerator of a and the other one is going to have the denominator of x minus 2 and this is going to have a numerator of b a and b are constants that we need to find so to solve partial fractions the first step is we need to multiply everything in this equation here by this denominator so this is the two brackets x plus 4 and x minus 2. So if we do this, so if we start with this fraction here, if we multiply it by these brackets here, this is just going to cancel out the denominator and leave us with the numerator, which is 3kx minus 18. And then this is going to be equivalent to, so this a over x plus 4, if you multiply it by the two brackets here, this x plus 4 bracket will cancel out the x plus 4 denominator and just leave us with the numerator a multiplied by the other bracket which is x minus 2 and then if we multiply this b over x minus 2 by these two brackets here this x minus 2 bracket will cancel out with this denominator here to leave us with the numerator b multiplied by this other bracket which is x plus 4 like this here now from here there are two ways to solve this you can either use substitution or you can equate the coefficients both of the ways are equally valid I personally prefer substitution so that's just going to be the way I'm going to do it here so the way that we do substitution is these two brackets here x minus 2 and x plus 4 we're going to sub in values for x in order to make these brackets 0 so if we start with x minus 2 so we want x minus 2 to be equal to 0 so if we move the minus 2 to the other side we get x is equal to 2 so if we let x equal to 2 so what we're going to do is going to be 3k and then instead of x here it's going to be 2 and then minus 18 and this is going to be equal to so this bracket here is going to be equal to 0 so this term here is going to be equal to 0 so we can just ignore it and then it's going to be this b and then x plus 4 so it's going to be 2 plus 4 like this here 3k times 2 is equal to 6k minus 18 is equal to and then 2 plus 4 is equal to 6 so this is going to be 6b like this here divide both sides by 6 so we get the b is equal to so 6k divided by 6 is k and then minus 18 divided by 6 is minus 3 so b is equal to k minus 3 so now we're going to sub in a value to make this x plus 4 bracket equal to 0 so we want x plus 4 to be equal to 0 so move the plus 4 to the other side so we get that x is equal to minus 4 so if we let x equal minus 4 so it's going to be 3k and then instead of x here it's going to be minus 4 minus 18 and this is equal to a and then x minus 2 so minus 4 minus 2 and then this x plus 4 is equal to 0 so this term here is equal to 0 so it just cancels out and this is equal to so if we simplify this 
So 3k times minus 4 is going to be minus 12k and then minus 18. And this is equal to, so minus 4 minus 2 is minus 6. So it's going to be minus 6a. And then divide both sides by minus 6. So we get that a is equal to, so minus 12k divided by minus 6 is going to be 2k. And then minus 18 divided by minus 6 is going to be plus 3. So a is equal to 2k plus 3. So therefore, we can say that this here, this 3kx minus 18 over x plus 4, x minus 2, this can be split up into two partial fractions where it's going to be 2k plus 3 over x plus 4 because a is equal to 2k plus 3. And then this is plus k minus 3, which is b over x minus 2. And this is split up into partial fractions. This is the final answer. Okay, and then for part b, we need to find the exact value of k for which the integral between minus 3 and 1 of f of x is equal to 21 for 4 marks. So this is an integrating using partial fractions question. And one thing that's really useful about partial fractions is this function here we cannot directly integrate. However, because in part a we showed we can split it up into these partial fractions here, what we can do is rewrite this integral here as the integral between minus 3 and 1 of x plus 4 over 2k plus 3 plus k minus 3 over x minus 2 dx and this is equal to 21 and this here we can integrate and therefore we can solve for k okay so if we integrate this here let's ignore these limits for now we're going to sub these in later so let's first integrate this function here now we have two terms so let's consider them individually if we start with the 2k plus 3 over x plus 4 i think the easiest way to integrate this here is if we take this 2k plus 3 out of the integral so we write this as 2 k plus 3 and then the integral of this x plus 4 under 1 like this here and then dx if we integrate this here so it's going to be 2k plus 3 at the front here if you integrate 1 over x plus 4 we talked about how to integrate functions like this in the integrating f of ax plus b video the way that we integrate this is so this is of the form 1 over x. If you integrate 1 over x, this is equal to the natural log of the modulus of x like this here. So if we integrate this here, this is the same format, it's going to be equal to the natural log of the modulus of x plus 4. The only difference is that we would divide by this coefficient here. However, because the coefficient of x here is 1, it doesn't make a difference. So it's just going to be this here, 2k plus 3, and then the natural log of the modulus of x plus 4. And then if we integrate this function here, again, let's take this k minus 3 out of the integral. So we can write this as k minus 3, and then the integral of x minus 2 under 1 like this here okay so this is going to be equal to so we're going to have this k minus 3 at the front and this is the exact same format it's going to be the natural log of the modulus of x minus 2 again there's um, no coefficient in front of the x so we don't need to divide by 2 or 3 or of anything like that if there was a coefficient in front of it so therefore we're going to add these two terms together to get the integral so it's going to be 2k plus 3 and then the natural log of the modulus of x plus 4 and then plus k minus 3 and then the natural log of the modulus of x minus 2 and then you can add the plus c on the end like this so this is the integral here so now we need to sub in the limits of 1 and minus 3 so if we do this here so it's going to be 2k plus 3 and then the natural log so if we sub in x is equal to 1 this is going to be 1 plus 4 which is 5 so this is going to be the natural log of 5 and then plus k minus 3 and then the natural log so this x here is going to be 1 so it's going to be 1 minus 2 which is minus 1 but remember it's the modulus of minus 1 so this is going to be the natural log of 1 like this here and then this is minus the 2k plus 3 and then we're going to do the natural log and then we're going to sub in x is equal to minus 3 so this is going to be minus 3 plus 4 which is equal to 1 so this is going to be the natural log of 1 and then plus k 
minus 3 and then the natural log so if we sub in x is equal to minus 3 it's going to be minus 3 minus 2 which is minus 5 and it's the modulus of this here so this is going to be the natural log of 5 like this here okay and this is equal to 21 we need to find what k is so we can do some simplifying here so firstly remember the natural log of 1 is equal to 0 so we have the natural log of 1 here so this term is going to cancel out and this term is going to cancel out so we're just going to be left with 2k plus 3 natural log of 5 and then we've got this minus here and it's going to be minus this k minus 3 natural log of 5 and this is equal to 21 we have natural log of 5 multiplying by both of these terms here so if we divide everything by the natural log of 5 we're going to get 2k plus 3 and then it's minus this k minus 3 and this is going to be equal to 21 over the natural log of 5 if we expand this bracket here it's going to be 2k plus 3 minus k plus 3 is equal to 21 over the natural log of 5 2k minus k is equal to k and 3 plus 3 is 6 and this is equal to 21 over the natural log of 5 and move this 6 to the other side so we get that k is equal to 21 over the natural log of 5 minus 6 and this here is the value of k it says it wants k um, in its exact value so this here is the final answer